Welcome to a case study of how one biotech company successfully implemented a data governance strategy and plan. The data governance challenge that this biopharma organization faced centered around its control of data, which was accumulating in ways that posed substantial challenges to its mission. More specifically, this client's challenges centered around three areas, their process, technology, and data quality and governance. Regarding their process, the client had formed teams of employees led by internal managers to tackle a series of tasks requiring optimization. Despite their efforts, however, senior executives realized that their approach had required an excessive level of human capital devoted to tracking and assessing key activities internally and externally among partner organizations. As a result, there were various steps in their clinical research studies at which progress was getting bogged down and causing critical delays. Senior company executives realized that their operational visibility needed to be reworked. They just weren't confident about precisely where and how to address this challenge. The second area involved their technology. In this particular client's R&D area, there was actually too much technology involved, which meant that data was accumulating in numerous places. This posed a very real challenge to integrating and harmonizing what were literally silos of data in ways that it could be easily aggregated and used effectively. Specifically, while high level study milestones were being captured, key activities and their data weren't readily available. As a result, the company lacked a single repository of study data that was generated by both internal teams and external partners. The third issue involved the company's data quality and governance. In the interest of accelerating their business process, data governance and data quality have been neglected. In the absence of governance process to ensure data quality for backend analysis and reporting, there was actually a slowdown in the entire process. Simply put, there was not enough front-end planning, alignment on data, standards, or governance, and the back-end effort had become particularly problematic and extremely frustrating to company leaders and product planners. Let's take a look at the four areas where this client was experiencing organizational pain associated with mission-critical data. First, definition sources and ownership of study data varied across different studies. Second, since it wasn't measured across multiple locations and partner organizations, the uniform quality of study data was unknown. Third, governance of data quality was inconsistent and entirely dependent on study teams at multiple locations within and external to the client's operations. And fourth, adherence to data privacy regulations was a growing concern that needed attention. The client's expectations from data governance involved ResultWorks substantially improving operational performance, enabling consistency and ensuring visibility essential to ensuring the quality of data for study management and usage in making critical go, no-go decisions on product development. Specifically, the client needed the governance program to deliver on 11 key points. They were, one, promote greater uniformity in study data for planning, management, and reporting. Two, improve visibility and understanding of study progression among internal and, and partner teams. Third, enable more consistent application of technology to studies. Fourth, reduce the amount of time study teams spent chasing data. Five, increase the efficiency of efforts allocated to product and portfolio study efforts, substantially strengthening the organization's ability to plan and adjust study activities and resources rather than reacting. Six, increase understanding of data use in terms of who is using which data and for what purpose. Seven, facilitate definition, collection, and reporting against study metrics. Eight, generate insight into bottlenecks requiring resolution to streamline the study progress. Nine, improve operational decision-making and optimize its timing. 10, control access to data and the process for data sharing. And 11, ensure consistent adherence to evolving regulations on data privacy.
The combination of these issues limited our clients' ability to achieve their critical research and product development goals. ResultWorks was brought in to work with senior leadership to assess the client's current data governance situation. Through our assessment of the current state, ResultWorks team surfaced technology and data issues while socializing the process among people across the client organization. The assessment enabled the team to move from anecdotes about data quality to credible definition of the issues. We focused on identifying current problems and pain points, as well as opportunities across processes, technology, and data. Once the joint assessment was complete, we developed a draft data governance policy in collaboration with leadership. The draft policy laid a groundwork of clear expectations for data quality standards and reinforced the leadership team's commitment to fixing problems and instituting governance that would ensure data of the highest quality and reliability. With the data governance policy in place, we advanced to develop a strategic plan comprising of a framework with a sufficient detail on data governance roles, responsibilities, interactions, processes, reporting, escalation, and technology to create and maintain a data governance program. It also included a roadmap laying out the projects and activities to implement data governance over a period of time. Developing the data governance framework is the most important step in the process. It entails developing a structure in which data governance functions are effectively managed. To ensure success with this phase, the ResultWorks team collaborated with our client's project team in a six-step process focused on effectively leveraging people, process, tools, and technology. Those steps were define. The focus of the first step was to define the standards, vocabulary, and internal processes. Decide. From there, we employed a cross-functional perspective with the client to balance conflicting wants and needs that would help decide the best direction for their organization. Then we set up two essential elements that would ensure lasting success. Maintain. We set up the standards that would maintain the framework into the future by looking at ways to support evolving needs, processes, procedures. Control. We also set up a change impact assessment with appropriate access to data specifically designed to ensure transition to better data quality and governance. Monitor. In collaboration with the leadership team, we built in governance standard steps to ensure that adoption of metrics on data quality and the required monitoring would be followed. Resolve. Lastly, we established a set of strategic corrective actions the organization would apply to resolve data quality issues in the future. Although this may appear as a burdensome process to remedy, it's important to note that data governance is not a one and done initiative. It's an iterative approach that requires consistent diligence and vigilance and regular reevaluation because every aspect of the process is imperative. Through multiple engagements on data governance, ResultWorks has found there are four factors that are key to the effectiveness. We invite you to note the following keys to data governance success and to bear them in mind as you consider the state of your organization's policies and procedures. Tone and accountability. Leadership needs to set the tone early, publish a data governance policy, and hold the organization accountable for high quality data through governance program. Pragmatic prioritization. Everything can't be done at once. So executing in a pragmatic priority-based approach is likely to achieve and sustain success. Document learnings, incorporated lessons learned as data governance measures are investigated and implement it produces valuable insights that lead to enhanced results. Data ownership culture. Encouraging establishment and persistence of data ownership culture is critical to reaching and maintaining a high level of trusted data across an entire organization. Our client company's director of data governance and standards sent this message to us at the conclusion of our engagement couldn't have asked for things to go any smoother. 
You all have been professional, herded the cats, and pulled the spaghetti apart, and got us the building blocks we need. All the pieces are there. Let's look closer at the areas the client referred. First, as the client told us, we solidified a common understanding among cross-functional stakeholders regarding the current state data governance landscape and associated challenges. We refer to this as achieving common ground. Next, in the words of our client, we enabled them to develop a data governance policy that outlines the strategic directive for treating data as a corporate asset. We refer to this as a cornerstone of data governance policy. One of the earliest and most impactful outcomes of their collaboration with ResultWorks was that the client aligned on the approach and secured buy-in and commitment from sponsors and stakeholders to execute the data governance strategy. We refer to this as strategy alignment and execution. Our client was delighted that through their collaboration with our team, that they created a data governance framework to be applied initially in clinical and then extend it to other business functions. We refer to this as building a durable data governance framework. This is how ResultWorks got our client, as they put it, all the building blocks they needed to succeed. Thank you.